variation of Zach Swimming Leech, I'm going to be using a pink Beavis 8 dot. We'll come in, catch it right behind the eye, the hook there, and the bead. The tail and the body on this are going to be this J. Ferris Translucent Swimming Hackle. It's a fantastic material for leeches and for a lot of other stuff. Really important though that when you can bring it in, you work it over with the wire brush to fray it out like that the way that we want it to. So I've got a smaller piece here I'm going to bring in. I'm just going to catch it right behind the bead with a couple thread wraps here and then take it, work it back over the top of the hook shank right up to the bend of the hook and just let that hang out. Then I'm going to bring in a second strand of the material. There's a core thread that goes through this. It's just a woven material. So you can brush those fibers back. You want them to lay toward the rear when you tie that in. Snip off any little frays that are in there. And then just catch it right here at the back of the hook. Secure it with a few wraps. And then just take that thread right back up behind the bead. Now this stuff will tend to slide back and forth as you catch fish and you work through fish. So I always make sure to take a little bit of Zappa Gap, put a little bit of that on the bodkin, and then work that in right there at the front and at the back. Really important as you wrap this forward that with each subsequent wrap, you just take your fingers and you brush those fibers to the rear. We want them to lay back. We want this nice and bushy. So with every wrap, we just brush those back. When I get right up behind the bead, I want to take a good two or three wraps really to fill that gap behind the bead. Make sure that it seats the bead properly so it's not wiggling or moving back and forth. And then once I've got that taken care of, I'm just going to drop that thread over the back side. Give it a nice tug. Stick the nose of the bobbin up in there and lay down a few wraps. Snip that off. At that point I can come in, whip finish the pattern, and cut my thread. And then I'll come in with the brush and just make sure that I work those fibers out a little bit.